irony of loneliness is we all feel it at the same time. I'm Alex Ford. Um, I'm a young-ish composer <laughs> uh, based in London. So it's based on a poem called Together um, by Rupi Kaur. Um, uh, she's a fantastic poet and I'm, I particularly really enjoy her short poems. I just feel like she can pack so much into just like a, two or three lines um, and it will make you think about it for hours or days. And that was the case with this poem. The irony of loneliness is we all feel it at the same time. It's just that, it's just that, that's the poem and it's together. Everyone can feel lonely and, and they can all feel it at the same time. And there must be, you know, millions of people that go to bed at night all feeling like they're alone. <laughs> and, and that idea is, is really quite harrowing. And I think if, if people if people felt like you know other people are going through this too, or it's normal, it's human, it's like this is life. I think it at least takes away some of the anxiety of it and some of the um, I don't know maybe some of the guilt or some you know the other emotions that go along with that. And I think um, just knowing that you're not alone in being alone <laughs> is something that that can be quite powerful. Um, and I feel like, yeah, trying to represent that as, as, as a piece of music was something that I found really quite engaging. It's trying to work on that, um, that duality. So you've got that first movement, which is quite mournful and sorrowful. And again, I think the extended techniques there really, really help to get that message across in a way that I don't think is really possible without them. Then on the flip side, you've got the second movement, which is much more energetic, but it's a kind of anxious energy and it ends quite abruptly and unresolved. That kind of internal, external, you know, uh, idea um, of you know, this is the front that you're putting up, that second movement. That first movement is, you know, what's behind. Mostly, like, don't take the notes too seriously. I think the point with, with some of this sort of music is that um, in the same way my writing was self-reflective, I really like if the performance is self-reflective. You can add something as a performer, and I do mean add. So if, if, you're, if you want to take a note away, if you want to change the rhythm, if you want to, like, extend bits or, you know, whatever it is, I, I prefer the piece to be more of a template or a, a guideline and you know I, you can only really say so much with the notes and performers are so talented and it feels such a waste as a as a composer if it's just if it's just playing the dots um, and so I'd really really like performers that play the piece to feel liberated to, to play around with the piece um, and really try and maximize, you know, what you can get out of it. Because um, the, the more that it's yours, the better it is. <laughs> um, because the thing that's mine isn't really anything, because I'm, I'm not playing it. <laughs> um, and that's, like I say, that's the beauty of performing.